One of the coolest updates to come to Tesla is the ability to A, have a dash cam using the built-in cameras of your car, and B, turning on sentry mode so that your car's cameras can record any nefarious activity going on around your car when you're not there. So taking advantage of the hardware and cameras that are already there if your car is on hardware 2.5 or higher. That's great. So how does it work? Well, basically, the once you get the software update that allows these features, the only thing you need to do is plug in a thumb drive into one of your front USB ports, so front seat, and uh, that thumb drive can be any capacity, you know, at least, at least needs to be eight gigs, so I recommend 32 or higher. And uh, the only thing you need to put on that drive to get it going is a fold, empty folder called Tesla Cam. And the Tesla has to be capital T, the cam has to be capital C, lowercase the rest. All one word. That's it. Once you plug that in, your car will detect that your Tesla Cam feature is available and it will just start recording automatically as you drive around using a dash cam. Um, now, if you want to uh, save a clip, you can tap the icon on the screen that will save a clip uh, of the last or 10 minutes or so. And um, that clip will not automatically get erased because the Tesla Cam by default, of course, so it doesn't fill up your drive, only records the last hour or keeps the last hour of content. So once it reaches an hour, then it starts to delete the older clips. All right, so that's all fine and good. But here's the question. Once you want to see what your dash cam or your um, sentry mode camera recorded, you got to take the thumb drive out and plug it into a computer to be able to see it. Uh, Unfortunately, as of the recording of this video, there's no way for it to transfer from your car to your phone or over Bluetooth or go to the cloud so you can get to it. It's just on the thumb drive. Now, of course, if Sentry Mode goes off, Tesla claims that that video or that footage does get uploaded to the cloud so that you can request it or they can review it or whatever. So that if something did happen and the person stole the thumb drive out, then you would at least have the ability to get it back that way. But in general use, there is no way for you to get stuff regularly from the thumb drive unless you physically take it out, plug it into a computer. I don't drive around with a laptop. So this was always kind of a drag where if I wanted to see what was on the footage, gotta wait till I get home, take it out, plug it in, so forth and so on. And that got me to thinking about thumb drives that let you connect them to your phone. So here's one by a company called SanDisk. I don't work for SanDisk. Full disclosure, I don't get credit for SanDisk. They don't even know I'm doing this. They don't even know me. But anyway, this is the SanDisk I Expand. And the difference is it has a regular USB um, uh, port on the end and it has a lightning connector on the other end. So this makes it easy for me to take it out when I'm still in the car and plug it into my phone to be able to see the footage. Now, there are some caveats. When you first get one of these, they're formatted, I believe it's called NTFS, that's a Windows format, which that's normal for normal use, but if you wanna use it as your Tesla cam, you have to reformat it on your computer using FAT32. So for example, as a Mac user, plugged it in, fired up disk utility, um, switched or chose the erase disk format or, or sorry yes <laughs> chose the erase disk feature and um, then I just simply uh, chose FAT32 and of course um, uh, choosing the right uh, format for it as well not the GUID but the uh, master boot record for for the drive to work once I formatted it, before I ejected it, the other thing I had to remember was to put that folder on the drive, because once you reformat it, it's empty again, and put that folder on there called Tesla Cam. Then I could take it out and put it in the car. Once in the car, it just works. It records. So I can uh, see if there's any nefarious activity going on around my car when it's in sentry mode. And again, now I don't have to worry about taking it uh, out of the car and having to go in the house and, and fire up the computer or a laptop, I can just plug it right into an iPhone or an iPad 
uh, while I'm sitting in the car because I always have my phone with me anyway. And especially on Model 3, your phone is your key. So you always have your phone with you. Uh, so with that said, this is a great way to have the best of both worlds. That thumb drive that you need for your dash cam and for sentry mode and the ability to easily see the footage directly on your phone and even transfer it to your phone um, from the thumb drive without having to use a computer to get it off that first. So shout out to SanDisk. Thanks for making the iExpand. I know you didn't, didn't intend it for this purpose. Uh, you made this before Tesla even had a Tesla cam feature, um, but repurposing technology is one of the things I love doing. Uh, if you're interested in this particular um, um, thumb drive, I've got a link to it in the description of this video. You can check it out and just these are worth it. So I think for a 64 gig, I think I paid around 30 bucks for it on Amazon. All right. So with that said, thanks for watching. Cheers, everybody. We will catch you on the next one. Bye.